start recording. Hi there, my name is Kim Danke. I am your Fast Track instructor. And what today is, today is day one of your seven day Fast Track. And if you will really focus in on the Fast Track this week, you will be able to learn the program and have a great in your new Shibboleth lifestyle, okay? So this, the information that you're gonna learn tonight is just the tip of the iceberg, but we are gonna do an entire program overview. Now, I like to tell you about how to do the program. That's what we're gonna go over tonight, but you gotta know why you're doing the program too. So just keep focused in on the fast track assignments that come out in the new member fast track group each day this week, because one of those is gonna be for you to create your why. So the way that this program works is if you are on Facebook, please join the new member Fast Track group. And this is day one. Tomorrow night, there'll be another webinar, which is day two. We'll do, do simple food combining. And then each day in the morning, there'll be a post that comes out. And that post will be something that you should walk through. You should work through it like a little assignment. And at the end of the week, you'll have all of the videos watched, the, all the Fast Track videos watched. And then hopefully you've also watched the little YouTube videos that I put into the post because that is me showing you how to utilize the website. The reason you want to watch those videos is it shortens your learning curve. It shortens your learning curve on how to use the website. By Saturday, you should be able to take the test and earn your first badge, which will be your fast track batch okay so that's the focus of this week and then after that we'll get you watching of Travis's original daily doses okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started right now and I'm gonna show now Amy I would love for you to tell me when I get to this PowerPoint if you can see this PowerPoint can you see this Amy Okay, it looks like. Okay, so I've changed things up and I hope y'all like this. Um, and so this is the Shibboleth Lifestyle and this is a program overview. I am your Fast Track instructor. And what we're gonna go over, oh darn, I guess it won't let me. I'm trying to figure out a new thing. Hold on. So, we might have to look at it just like this, just like this. I'm gonna try to make that a little bit bigger, okay? So we're gonna go over the Shibboleth lifestyle tonight, all right? The next thing we're gonna talk about is the basics. The basics, we gotta know the basics. You gotta know the basics in anything to get started in it. And the basics of Shibboleth are, there are two modes. There are only two modes. You are either in weight loss mode or you're in maintenance, okay? Weight loss means that you still have pounds to lose. You're not exactly where you wanna be yet. You don't have your victory badge yet and you're on your way. That is weight loss mode. Maintenance mode means that you have made it all the way to your victory badge. You've got that fun little badge on your account and you are where you wanna be, but now your job in maintenance is gonna to be to maintain this lifestyle for the rest of your life because we have to maintain it for the rest of our lives. There are two, no, three. There are three differences between weight loss and maintenance. Number one is the uh, number of holidays that you can use in a month, and we're gonna go over that in a second. Number two is how you can eat fruit, and number three is your mindset. So there's only three differences between weight loss and maintenance. There are two types of days in Shibboleth. You're either having a perfect day, and see, I got a little green check lady right there, or you are a holiday. And there is no in between one or the other, a perfect day or a holiday. And then there, um, how many holidays are allowed is the next question. When you are in weight loss mode, you can use up to six holidays in a calendar month. And when you are in maintenance mode, you can use up to 12 holidays in a calendar month. 
Now, what that means is, and you might be thinking 12, wow, because 12 times 12 is 144. There's 144 holidays that you could use in a year once you get into maintenance. And as long as you keep the other days, truly perfect days, not letting them turn into okay days, you will maintain that weight loss that you had. But in weight loss, and that's what we're going to talk about this week. We're going to focus in on weight loss. We're going to assume that you have six holidays to use in a calendar month. So how do you have a perfect day? You just simply follow the shibboleth shield. Now, shibboleth is a one way to say it, but I just say shibboleth when I'm saying shibboleth shield because it rolls off my tongue a little bit easier that way. Um, but shibboleth, you, you've got to watch a video by Travis that's in the new member fast track group. Please watch that video. It talks about where the name came from. It is important that you kind of know where the name came from um, when you're starting this program. But it is, it's a blessing of a name. So just go back and watch that. But you follow the shibboleth shield. The components of the shibboleth shield are water, journaling, combinations, portions, and timing. Those are the five things that you're wanting to focus on. After you've had two perfect days, you are in what we call EFB. EFB is efficient fat burning. This is where you want to be to access and burn stored fat rather than uh, stored energy, which is fat, rather than easily accessible energy. So you have to have two perfect days to get into efficient fat burning, but you follow the shibboleth shield to have a perfect day. These are the five components of that perfect day, but we're going to go over each one in just a second. The next one is component number one of the shibboleth shield is water. You want to make sure you get in all of your water. You need to drink at least half a gallon of water every single day. That is 64 ounces, okay? That is four of these right here. Your goal is a gallon. So try to get in a gallon of water every day. And just let me tell you, if you are focused on getting that gallon in every single day, you're going to be a lot less focused on food. Your mind is going to be satisfied. Your tummy is going to be satisfied. And you're going to be doing your skin and your tissues and your body lots and lots of good. Okay, now when we are trying to lose weight, we want to do that efficiently. So there's a lot of different things about getting into efficient fat burning that help. And water is one of them. Look at point number three right here. A dehydrated body will not efficiently give up fat or waste. So we have got to uh, normalize our hydration levels and we've got to get into a hydrated state rather than a dehydrated state. So component number one of the Shibola Shield is to drink at least 64 ounces of water. If you don't get in 64 ounces of water in a day, then it's not a perfect day. So just make sure you get that in. But remember, your goal is a gallon. Component number two of the Shibboleth Shield is to journal. You want to journal everything that you put in your mouth. There are no idle bites on planet Shibboleth, okay? If you bite it, you write it. If you nibble it, you scribble it. If you drink it, you ink it. If you hog it, you log it at the end of each day or as you go throughout the day um, or before, write it before you bite it is even best. But whatever you do, whatever way you have to do it, please journal. We prefer that you journal in the website because it is better for you to have this uh, way to document all that you've done. And on paper, that can get lost. And if you want us to have a look at it, it's much easier to submit for a journal review if it's in the website. So whatever you do, you need to journal your food. If you don't journal your food, it's not considered a perfect day. So make sure that you journal your food. Component number three of the Shibboleth Shield is combinations. You have to eat properly combined meals. Properly combined meals keep away the fat bus. We're gonna go over what makes a properly combined meal and what the fat bus is in just a minute. But that is component number three of the Shibboleth Shield, combinations. Component number four of the Shibboleth Shield is to eat properly portioned meals from a six to eight inch plate using the two hand rule. I love this because I do not have to take, I don't have to focus on counting calories. I don't have to focus on measuring food, weighing food, any of that. I carry my measuring tools with me wherever I go. They're right here. 
I use my two hands and it is so simple. Even if you don't have a six to eight inch plate, which it's really great to have a portion control plate, and Travis does have some that he recommends and we also sell those in our uh, store or our online store. But if you don't have a six to eight inch plate, you usually, you just use your two hands. You put your two hands together as close as possible, just like that. You lay them down over your food. And if you can't see food sticking out around your hands, then you're good. If you can see food sticking out around your hands, that part, often you can just put it, put it away to have to portion control our foods. Portion control is a really big part of weight reduction. Portion control has to do with calories in, okay? Because we have overeaten, I had overeaten 175,000 calories, and so I needed to figure out a way to get that off. One pound of fat has 3,500 calories in it, and so you got to get into a calorie deficit of at least 3,500 calories to get rid of a pound of fat. So us Portion controlling is a big part of that, but we Shibboleth members supercharge our weight loss because we also combine foods in a way that control insulin, okay? So that's how we supercharge that, and that is the number one, that's the number one thing in weight reduction is uh, controlling insulin. Number two is calories. Okay, let's look at the next one. Component number five of the Shibboleth Shield is timing. Now, the first four that we went over, number one, water, number two, journal, number three, combinations, and number four, portions, those four must be hit in order for you to say you've had a perfect day. Number five, timing, is extremely important, yet it is not gonna keep you out of having a perfect day if you don't hit it just right. Everybody lives a different lifestyle. Everybody lives different uh, work schedules and all types of things. So it's kind of hard to tell you exactly what to do in that, but what we do tell you is how to optimize your weight loss using timing. So you can have up to three meals a day. You don't even have to have three if you don't want to. You can have up to three meals a day. You could do two meals and a snack, but it, let's just talk about three meals right now because some of uh, us becoming more advanced in our program would be some of these other things. But let's say you're gonna have three meals a day. We would say breakfast for the father, lunch for the son, and dinner for the Holy Spirit. Okay, if you are a breakfast eater, then you should eat within an hour or two of waking. You are kind of fueling your metabolism by getting that started. If you are not a breakfast eater, you don't have to worry about it. Just go to lunch. It's no big deal. But once you've eaten breakfast, if you are a breakfast eater, you're going to eat lunch about four to six hours later. You can set the phone. Just set the timer on your phone for four to six hours later, whenever's going to work best for you to eat. And then eat again four to six hours later. And that's that. That's how, that's what you do. Because we have turned into grazers and we need to get out of that habit of grazing. So we need to get into the habit of giving our body a break from always being in digest mode. So we need to eat, wait, eat, wait, and then go to sleep for the night. Okay. So, um, in, but we also have something else because sometimes people have moments of mental weakness. And the reason I say that is we really could make it from lunch to, I mean, from breakfast to lunch. And we really could make it from lunch to dinner. But sometimes we have moments of mental weakness where we just want something or we're truly hungry or something like that. Then you can use something called freebies. And then we have a thing called an extra and a thing called a snack. Freebies are things like egg whites, sugar-free jello, dill pickles, different things like that, that you could just eat as many as you want to, as often as you want to, if you needed them. But keep in mind, we are trying to train ourselves to not be grazers, and so I would only use a, what I needed of those just to get me through, all right? But my number one freebie is water, because you should be focused on trying to get your water in, so let water be your number one freebie. If a freebie wasn't cutting it and you need to do an extra, extras are, it's kind of like a quantified freebie. It's too much to be called a freebie, okay? So, um, or it has more of a calorie impact than a freebie, that kind of thing. So an extra might be two little Choco Right peanut butter patties, or it might be a Coco Ringa or a Bio Coffee. It's just something that maybe has between 50 and 90 calories and there's no exact, okay? 
but the list of extras are in our food library, our food library, and it would still have to be an approved extra. And same thing with a snack, it would have to be an approved snack. And there's a list of snacks in our um, food library. So if you needed it, you could go to a snack as well. None of our snacks are over 200 calories and they need to also meet the qualifications that we have set forth that makes it Shibboleth approved. But you don't have to worry about all that. They're already listed for you. You just need to figure out the ones that you like. So you're gonna wanna spend some time in the food library clicking on freebies and then extras and snacks and looking through the list and harding things that you like, um, that sort of thing. But remember, that isn't really your focus. Your focus is on trying to have three properly combined, properly portioned meals in a day and drinking your water. That's really your focus. But if you needed something, you could go to one of those other things. But even if you can, just try to do just maybe one of those things because every little thing that you do is adding calories. And so let's just say that you eat enough in a day that you, you accumulated 30 calories from that. And let's say that you ate a 70 calorie extra. And then let's say you had a 200 calorie snack. Well, if you add all that up, that's about 300 calories. Well, if you divide that 3,500 calories that you're trying to go backwards to lose that pound of fat, by having all of those in a day, it is slowing down your weight loss by 11.67 days. I've done the math, 11.67 days. So you wanna make sure that you are um, only using the things that you need if you truly need them. But for me, the whole thing was about modifying my behavior from going from a grazer to a person who ate purposefully, okay? And that's one of the reasons you also wanna journal is it helps you eat purposefully rather than meaninglessly. It helps you eat um, mindfully rather than mindfully. It helps you eat consciously rather than unconsciously. So you wanna make sure that you are journaling. But these things are allowed and it would still be a perfect day if you needed to utilize one of those things, okay? And please let me know if you have any questions at all. And I've got a question on Facebook. Let me see right here. Hey, Joy and Sherry and Jessica and Angie and Jason and Connie and Angela asked, how do I come back to watch this video? I need to refresh my mind, but can't watch it right now. And water helps so much. That's what's Angela's question. Angela, this question, I mean, this video will be right here in this group. So you can just go right back here and watch this. And hey, Wendy. I hope y'all are still on there. Facebook's kind of strange. It tells me people are on there and then the number keeps changing. Um, so let's have a look. So those are the five components of the shibboleth shield. Now, next question is, how do I put together a properly combined meal? A properly combined meal. I'm gonna make sure I can see this because this is, this is one of the things about changing up what you use. You wanna make sure people can see this. Amy, do you feel like you can see this slide decently or not? Because if not, I wanna make sure these are bigger for a future time. But how do you put together a properly combined meal? Well, first of all, you need to learn the seven categories of food. So Travis and the team have divided up all whole foods based on the way that they respond in your body according to categories, according to categories. And category number one is a lean protein. And category number two is a fibrous carb. And category number three is an energy carb. Category four is a protein plus fat. Category five is fruit. Category six is superfood. And category seven is shellfish. And hey, David on Zoom, I see uh, David has joined us on Zoom. David, can you see that? Do you feel like it's big enough? Okay, so I kind of want to give you a little example of what would be considered one of these, uh, a food in each category. A lean protein, it's like chicken breast and egg whites. Fibrous carbs, that's where all of your cruciferous vegetables come in, okay? And we also have 60 approved breads in the fibrous carb catalog, cat category. Energy carbs is where all your potatoes are, lima beans, peas, those kind of things. Protein plus fat is where all your steak is. That's where your uh, whole eggs are. And then fruit 
obviously all fruit is in fruit, but I put them here, AKA, also known as antioxidant carb. So if you ever see on any of our documents and papers, AC, that means antioxidant carb, superfood. Now, how does something qualify to be a superfood? This is where all your nuts and your seeds are. This is where your um, avocados are, your darker colored beans are, are there. And uh, most of your light colored beans are an energy carb, but so often there are a few that makes it into the superfood like your garbanzo beans, okay? Something qualifies to be a superfood if it has all the macronutrients in there, meaning it's got water in there, protein, carbs, and fat. All of those things have to be in an item that makes up a superfood. And then shellfish. And then you'll, you'll see I have a there, which is really just a lean protein. So category one and category seven are going to be used the exact same way, the exact same way. Um, now, what I want to do right now is I want to tell you the five. There are five of these seven that you don't have to combine at all. They can be eaten by themselves. You can eat category one lean proteins by themselves. You can eat category two fibrous carbs by themselves. You can eat category four protein plus fat by itself. And I always add this little caveat in a pinch because it's better to combine a four with a category two. But if you needed to do a category four by itself in a pinch, you could. You can eat category six superfood by itself, and you can eat category seven shellfish by itself. So there are five of the seven categories that you don't have to combine at all. They can be eaten by themselves, okay? Now, um, there are some hard and fast rules about what you do and don't wanna eat. I'm gonna move to the next slide and see if that has that on there. Since, yeah, okay. So, the fastest fat burning combination is a one, which is a lean protein, and a two, which is a fibrous carb, hooked in MCT oil, or a seven, which is shellfish, plus a two, which is fibrous carb, cooked in MCT oil. This is the fastest fat burning combination. Okay, and we've got a chart that I'm going to show you in the end that you're going to, it's going to be your best friend. You're going to need to either print it out or take a screenshot of it on your phone. You have easy access to that. Um, and then if you want to eat a three, which is an energy carb, or a five, which is fruit, you must eat that with a one and a two a one and a two. And I'm kind of going to read over these rules right now, but we're going to go back. Okay. And then you don't want to eat a protein plus fat, your category four. You don't want to eat that with your energy carbs, which are your threes, your fruit, which is your fives, or your sixes, which is your superfood. And then all meat at a restaurant must be considered a category four. So those are some rules. We're going to go back to this page right here because I want you to kind of look at what this would be. So to eat an energy carb, this category three right here. Let's just say you want to have some long grain brown rice, okay? So in a weight loss mode, it is best to do about a quarter of a cup. Now, I just give you that as a reasonable guideline, but you're going to be using your two-hand rule, okay? You got your two hands as close together as possible right there. Your, your rice is going to be about right there, okay, just, just in this little area. And then you must pair that rice with maybe a piece of chicken, maybe some green beans. So maybe you have your chicken breast under here, and then you got your green beans right in here, okay? So you put your hands down over that chicken, green beans, rice. That would be a category one plus two plus three, which is an approved fat burning combination. Tomorrow night, we're going to go over lots of fat burning combinations. Okay, now let's say that you want to eat fruit. Fruit, you could go up to about a half a cup of fruit, okay, and but if you want to eat fruit in weight loss, it must be eaten with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So let's say that you want to have maybe half a cup of blueberries for breakfast. You're going to want to eat that with, and these are just examples, maybe you want to eat that with a uh, egg white spinach omelet. Egg white spinach omelet. Now what's happening when you're doing that is that the fruit 
or let's just say the long grain brown rice, as I gave as an example, those are going to be um, bringing a little bit of an insulin release, a little bit of an insulin release. But what's happening is you are letting the protein in the lean protein and the fiber in the fibers carb to neutralize the insulin release that is coming from the category three item that you ate. So that's why it's important to put those together because the number one, number one important rule in weight loss is controlling insulin, okay? Now, you're gonna, let's say you wanna eat some lima beans, your energy carb, okay? Again, it's a category three. It must be paired with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, okay? And so let's look at this protein plus fat, protein plus fat. Let's just say it's a steak. And this right here, I am going to stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna come back to screen share in just a second. So let's say you wanna eat a steak, okay? Let's talk about the classic plate, the classic plate at a steakhouse. You have ordered steak and baked potato. So the steak, you're eating the steak. That's no problem. There, the steak is a good protein for you. There's some fat in there and it's not bad fat. It, your body needs fats for different functions. So that's really not even, that's not even a bad fat. It's the fact that it got paired with maybe let's just say a potato or French fries, that's the problem, okay? That's where the problem comes in. So let me tell you what's happening there. You're eating this potato. The potato um, gives, it's. The ones that come at a restaurant, first of all, aren't even reasonably sized. They're huge. So you're getting like a really big doses of insulin coming out into your body. And then you're eating this steak. So it's a protein plus fat. So there are fat lipids roaming around in your body. Well, these fat lipids are roaming around in your body and they would just get burned up as energy. But instead, because you ate the potato, it released insulin and insulin is a hormone it's a growth hormone it's a fat storage hormone so it comes out to do its job it's going to go around it's going to seek out those fat lipids and it's going to store them okay but now that you know this information and you say okay i'm going to eat that steak but instead of eating that steak i'm going to have it with a fibrous carb i'm going to have it with broccoli that's what you do you eat the steak you still have some fat lipids growing around in your body because they exist in the steak, but there was not this insulin release that came out. Therefore, those fat lipids weren't stored, okay? So this is how you remain in efficient fat burning even though you're eating a little bit of fat. You haven't called out the fat bus to go and collect all of that fat, okay? I hope that makes sense. And, oops, wrong thing. Um, I want to make sure I can see that back on Facebook. And so that is why that's really important. It's important to eat your uh, um, protein plus fat. You can have it by itself if you want it by itself. That's okay. The reason you can have it by itself is because you didn't eat anything with it to go collect the fat, all right? But it's optimal to have it with a fibrous carb. Um, now, what you don't want to eat with your protein plus fat is your energy carbs, so we just discussed that, and you don't want to eat fruit with it, because fruit also brings an insulin release, and so you want to make sure that if you have fruit, you have it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, not this. Kind of can come in, let's think about the morning time, and a lot of times over the years, maybe you've had some fruit with some eggs and maybe some bacon and some biscuits, you know, those kind of things, so you've eaten that. Well, that fruit brings an insulin release, so does that biscuit, and then it's just gonna go collect all the fat that was in the bacon and the eggs. But if you want an approved turkey bacon, with because you actually can find some that's probably lean enough to be a lean protein, you could use that as a category one, you could put some whole eggs with it or do egg whites, either one works in that case, and then maybe do um, a spinach omelet, or maybe you do a category two fibrous carb bread. The great thing about fibrous carb bread is that it breaks down in your body more like a grain bean than it does a bread and that is that's awesome. 
And then obviously your shellfish can be eaten with your lean proteins and your fibrous carbs as well. You can also eat shellfish with a protein plus fat. So let's say that you wanna have some surf and turf. You can do a steak and lobster. Um, let's say you're out at the restaurant, then you're gonna to wanna to order either a side salad, their vegetable medley, or you're gonna to wanna to order some broccoli with that or green beans, that kind of thing. You just don't wanna order your um, uh, potato or anything like that with a, at a restaurant. If you're at home and you want to have some potato with maybe some shellfish and a fibrous carb, you can do that at home, but you can't in a restaurant. Here's why. At a restaurant, we don't know what fat they cooked um, that in. So let's look back here at these important rules of food combining. If a category one, which is your lean protein, and your category two, which is a fibrous carb, using MCT oil, we're gonna go over that in a second, or your shellfish, remember your shellfish is really just a lean protein, um, and your, MC, your category two cooked in MCT oil are the fastest fat burning combinations. In your first week, I would say that you should stick with category ones and twos if possible, you'll have the best results. Throw in some meal replacements for ease though, because most people aren't getting up and cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day, but and meal replacements give you um, uh, a simple way to do this program. So you got that going on. If you wanna eat a three or a five, this is a must in capital letters, and this is an and in capital letters. It must be eaten with a one and two. Because what happens is, this is just a recap. What happens is you are allowing the protein and the lean protein, which is a category one, and the fiber in the fibers card, which is a category two, to neutralize the insulin release that is coming from the category three energy carb or the category five fruit. This is really very just scientific. So that's just the way it works science wise and you just stick with it. I believe me, it'll work. I dropped 50 pounds last year. I was only trying to lose 35 and a half. I lost 50. I didn't even know I had 50 pounds to lose, but I was thankful for it. Um, and then with your fours, which is your protein plus fat. Now remember that's the only one that's got more fat in it. Like these sixes, these superfoods have a little bit of fat in it, but not as much as the protein plus fat. So that's the one you want to be careful with what you eat with it. You wanna make sure you don't eat it with any threes, which is your energy carbs, your fives, which are your fruit, or your six, which is your superfood. You don't wanna eat it with that because it will go around and collect the fat that's in the category four and it will store it, okay? All meat at a restaurant that are to category four. So let's say at home, you would make a piece of chicken and you know that is a category one lean protein. So then you go to the restaurant and you think, I'm gonna order a category one so I can have a lean protein. We do not know what oil they're gonna cook that in. Therefore, we have to consider it a category four because basically they've taken a lean protein like a piece of chicken, cooked it in an unapproved oil, and they've turned it into a protein plus fat. So that's why to keep ourselves safe, we consider all meat at a restaurant a category four because at that point in time, you know, based on these rules, that you should only order a category two fibrous carb with it. And that would give you an option of whatever they've got on the menu, uh, green beans, broccoli, side salad, that kind of thing, okay? So let's move on to the next slide. Approved cooking oils, because we sort of walked into that just a second ago. Our number one suggested oil is an MCT oil. MCT oil is medium chain triglyceride. Medium chain triglyceride is, it has almost no propensity to be stored in the body as fat because it is tiny little wisps of fat and they burn up like this, okay. But what you're probably using or have been using in the past is a long chain triglyceride like canola oil, vegetable oil, olive oil. Those are all long chain triglycerides. They are longer chains of fat and they take a really long time up in the body. So we are not gonna be efficiently burning fat if we've ingested those fats because those are easily accessible fats that the body's gonna go to first. Well, in weight loss, we don't want our body to go to those first. We want our body to go to stored energy, fat, and burn that to be able to get that off of our body, okay? So that's why we don't wanna give our body a long chain triglyceride. Um, so medium chain triglycerides. If you're making a list of what you should buy to get started, I highly suggest the zero drag, zero drag MCT oil that we sell at the store. 
If you are not near a store, it's just order it online. We, we have a little online store, we can ship it right to you. But the zero drag MCT oil is what you're gonna wanna get. Um, when you are using the MCT oil, the, the amount that you wanna use is one tablespoon per serving. So let's say you're making yourself one piece of chicken and you could use one tablespoon. If you are making four pieces of chicken, let's just say for the family, you could use four tablespoons of MCT oil, all right? The most important thing I can tell you right now is that it needs to be cooked on low to medium heat. If it doesn't get cooked on low to medium heat, it will set off your smoke detector. It has a very low smoke point. Just the fact that I have to tell you that shows you that it burns up like that. So some of it burns up in cooking, and then what we do ingest gets burned up very, very quickly in our body. So our body can still access stored energy, which is fat, rather than an easily accessible energy because this MCT doesn't stay around very long. So it burns up like also thermogenic, which helps burn up a few extra low calories too. The next approved cooking, a cooking oil would be a coconut oil, which is 60% of MCTs. Then ghee butter, it's a clarified butter. Once that's been clarified, there's more MCTs in it, so that's why it works. And then hemp oil is something you could use and a zero calorie cooking spray. Obviously, to use this zero calorie cooking spray when I'm cooking a protein plus fat because it already has fat in it. But I use uh, MCT oil is what I use now. MCT oil for everything else is what I use. A lot of times people will use the ghee butter for something that they uh, in the past has had a butter flavor then you use the ghee butter. Okay so remain in EFB as often as possible. EFB is e fat burning. Now we are striving for perfect days. We're striving for the perfect day because those are the days that are going to get us the results that we want. But planned or unplanned, a holiday is coming. And this is the beauty of Program. The beauty of this program is there are grace days, okay? We call those holidays. That's also what makes this program sustainable for life because it is balanced. We don't have to either be on the wagon or off the wagon. We can live a life of balance. So anytime you have that planned or unplanned holiday, it's okay. Enjoy that holiday. But after that, just know it's going to take two perfect days to get back into EFB. Get back into EFB. When we're in EFB, our body is going to burn fat, stored energy for the energy that we need rather than easily accessible energy such as unapproved oils or sugary or starchy carbs, okay? So this is why we want to remain in EFB. All right, the next question is, make sure I'm on the right one. Okay, what is the fat bus? Okay, the fat bus is insulin. That is exactly what it is. And insulin is a hormone. The specific type of hormone that it is, it's a growth hormone that is focused on fat storage, fat storage. I was blown away when I learned that. I didn't have any idea that insulin was a hormone. I didn't know that it was a fat storage hormone and that if I could control my insulin, I control my ability to lose weight. I had no idea before I started to bowl it. So the fact that I learned this and it works, I promise you it works if you follow it. Um, just knowing this information is life-changing because you now have to control your weight. Um, you have the ability to get it off and you have the ability to maintain that weight loss. So after an insulin release, fat storage is going to occur for up to 48 hours. So because there's insulin and it takes about 48 hours for that insulin to dissipate over time. And it means that you're out of efficient fat burning, but that's okay. So let's say you have a holiday. You have a holiday on a, a Saturday and a Sunday. Let's just say you took a Saturday and Sunday as a holiday. You're going to have Monday and Tuesday as green checks in your in your timing chart on your account. If you're journaling, you'll be able to see this. And then on that third perfect day, you'll have a flame, and that means you're back in EFB. And then you just want to string as many efficient fat burning days together as you can, okay? And then keep that efficient fat burning going together, and then planned or unplanned, guess what's coming? Another holiday. It just happens. And then 
you get back to your perfect days again. This is a life of balance, and now we know how to get back to it, which is good. Insulin, by the way, also increases appetite. So let's say right after a holiday, you're back to your perfect day, and you think, oh my goodness, why am I so hungry? Just tell yourself, it's that insulin. Insulin is making me hungry. I can get through this over today and the next day. That insulin is gonna be dissipating. I'm getting back to my perfect days. And after that insulin dissipates, get not nearly as hungry. So that's another great reason to stay in EFB. Um, and after the fat bus has rounds, I've said this many times, but it takes two days to get back into EFB. And then what are you gonna eat this week? That is a question that people have. It's always like, well, learned all this information, but what am I gonna eat now? What am I gonna eat? Well, the great thing about Shibboleth is you eat anything on this program that you don't like. If you don't like something, like tomorrow night, when we go over this list of what, uh, just some simple lean proteins, if there's one on there that you don't like, you don't have to eat it. And let's say you see some fibrous carbs that you don't like, you don't have to eat it. You have to figure out which ones you like to eat. So I would highly recommend that you just take a piece of paper, just a, just a general sheet of paper, draw a line down the middle. On one side, write down 10 to 15 lean proteins that you like. Then on the right hand, write down 10 to 15 fibrous carbs that you like. Because remember, now, now on your lean protein side, you can also include shellfish because it really is just a, shell, a, a lean protein. So make that list. And then literally, like you were a kid in elementary school, draw a line from one of those to the other one that you'd like to eat together. Okay, I think chicken breast and green beans taste good. All right, I think uh, shrimp and asparagus is gonna taste good. I think a 96% lean ground burger and broccoli is gonna be good. I think Oikos triple zero yogurt with some hemp flakes is gonna be good. Uh, you know, you just draw a line between them and that's what you start eating for your foods. It's really that simple. And if you create those two lists, the way I said to, then that's gonna create your fastest fat burning combinations. Cook those up in some MCT oil. Now, obviously you wouldn't need MCT oil if you're doing the uh, yogurt because you're not cooking it. We use MCT for the purpose of cooking, all right? Let me go back to that. You use your MCT oil for the purpose of cooking. We do not take it as a supplement, nor do we put it in our coffee or any type of shakes. It's for the purpose of cooking. It does have 100 calories, Ours has 100 calories in it. You can use any MCT oil from any store as long as it's 100% MCTs, as long as it says that on there, 100%. But a lot of those ones out there have 130 calories in them, and ours has been maximized for cooking, and I don't know if that's what made it just have 100 calories in it or not, but it's only got 100 calories in it. We just don't need any random calories running around, so we don't make bulletproof coffee or put it in a shake or anything like that. So a lot of times people hear that something's good, but then they just want to start taking it as a supplement. Well, we don't do that. We use it for the purpose of cooking. But if you make a list of 10 to 15 lean proteins that you like and the fibrous carbs, and you just start mixing and matching those together to make little meals, cooking up an MCT if it's a meat or, or, or a fibrous carb, and just, that's your fastest fat burning meal. That's what you wanna get started with in your first seven to 10 days. And then throw in a few meal replacements, like I said, for simplicity. If you are in the new member fast track group on Facebook, I have an entire post about what are my favorite, I think it's my favorite meal replacements. So that's important. Go through there and look. Those are the ones that I like the best. I might do those for breakfast or if I'm going out to a luncheon, and I don't know what's gonna be at that lunch, and I'll throw in an oatmeal protein pie in my purse, and that way I know that I'm, I'm eating something that I like. I don't feel like I'm missing out on not getting to eat that luncheon, and I'm not bringing the fat bus, and I'm still achieving all of my goals, okay? Now, part of this is also that your mindset, you're gonna to have to tell yourself that you are not missing out when you're not eating what everybody else is eating, okay? Um, and then in the beginning, keep it very, very simple, but then you're gonna branch out and you're gonna get into the category uh, combinations of one plus two plus three. And then you can start making some of the recipes that we've got in the recipe library. But in the beginning, keep it really, really simple. 
Um, I also want you to take advantage of our awesome, awesome resources, okay? Make sure you are in the Facebook support groups and um, because those are important. You're going to get a lot of support groups you're going to be able to ask questions in those groups and you'll get a lot of support from there so make sure your all of the groups that you need to be a member of are listed in the new member fast track group the new member fast track group is kept as a very very clean group you could literally go all the way to the bottom of that group when it began and kind of work your way through those posts back up to the most recent post and if you do that it's kind of like a textbook that you need to do or things that you might want to look at. I've got a lot of food ideas, meal ideas in there. It might say that it was a meal plan from December, but that's okay. That's when I created it. It's still good. Familiarize yourself with our awesome website. If you do each little YouTube video that I put out in the new member fast track group this week, if you do that, you will familiarize yourself with the website. And like I said, it's me showing you how to use the awesome features of the website. And it, I do this to help shorten your learning curve on that. You do want to make a getting started mentor appointment, but I suggest that when we get off this, I, when we get off this uh, call, I would like for you to go ahead and make that appointment. But I want you to make the appointment for next week because I want you to go through the fast track week this week. And I want you to be writing down questions that you've got, those kind of things. And when you make that mentor call next, then you'll be able to ask them questions that didn't get answered for you this week or you need further clarification on. But you just go to mentor.genbook.com and there's the website right there. And then in on this fast track week by participating in each of the daily posts, each of the daily posts. I'm going to do my last slide, then I'm going to show you some resources on the website that you're going to want to know about. Uh, so welcome to the Shibboleth family. We are, we are here for you. Does anybody have any questions either in the Zoom room or on Facebook? I'll be happy to answer those questions, but I'm going to do a, a different screen share real quick. I'm going to share this right here, okay? This is my account in the Shibboleth website. And this is what yours look like as well, okay? So this was my little weight loss journey. I went, I started off at 185.5, and then within three months, I got to what I had set as my original goal. My original goal was to lose 35 and a half pounds. I hit that in three months. I then went into our maintenance program, and in maintenance, I lost another 15 pounds. That's how well this program works if you are truly controlling your insulin and your portions and getting your water in. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my data graph, basically. But what I want to show you right now is this yellow tab, the videos and print material, this new member fast track, this is what you want to watch this week. You want to watch these. There's 14 videos, but guess what? All of them, all of them together take less than one hour, less than one hour to watch all of those videos. I try to make them short, succinct, to the point. See, right now, we just did a program overview, but we're going to do these little videos, other little, um, expanding on each of the points of the program. And it cannot hurt to hear it multiple times. You could probably hop off here and watch all these tonight before you go to bed. Now I do spread them out for you over the week if you don't want to do, um, I do spread those out in the lessons throughout the week in the posts, but this is where those are. Once you've clicked on a video, see how this hyperlink right here is green? Well, it started off as blue. Once you've clicked on it and you've marked yes, that you've watched it, it'll turn to green. That way, when you come back to this, you'll know where you were, okay? But do you see these 10 blue links right here? These 10 blue links are very, very important, very important. So there's no lack of us trying to teach you how to do the program in so many ways. We do live webinars like we're doing right now. We've got the recorded video on your own time. We have a book. We have printed materials. We have all kinds of stuff. You want to order the book from the website, I mean, from the um, 
from the online store and have it shipped, and I'm talking to you, Amy, because you're in Montana, uh, then you could order the book, okay? Um, if you are near Dalton or Kennesaw, Georgia, and you want to pick up the book, you can pick up the book. If you want to print it out right there, there it is. You could click right there, and there's the book. There's the whole 66-page book. Now, personally, a book's great, and I did read it, and it helps reinforce everything, but I think to get the whole picture, if you do each of these things, then you're just gonna have a well-rounded framework of knowledge, okay? Because this is only the information you're gonna need for the rest of your life. You might as well just get it down, right? Get it down. So I also want you to click on this welcome packet and read that. And then look at this right here, Travis's Fast Start Meals. So if you're thinking, what am I gonna eat in the morning? Right here is a breakfast idea, if you like yogurt. There's that. If you like cottage cheese, there's that. Uh, there's fried egg, bread, and cheese, if you like that. So there's some high-protein hot chocolate listed there. Okay, so there's, there's some meal ideas right there. And everything is listed out for you. And then let's look right here at this combination chart. I like this combination chart best because... It, I just like the way it's laid out. But look at this, you've got a red column, a yellow column, and a blue column. All of these are great for weight loss. But in the beginning, in the beginning, if you'll stick right here in the beginning and include some of these meal replacements, and you can slip over into this yellow column uh, in the first seven to 10 days. If you'll, if you'll live right there in that red and yellow column, you're gonna have great results. I really believe that you can lose seven pounds in seven days. If you do this, depending on how much weight you have to lose, you can lose more, you can lose even more, okay? But then this blue column over here, I call that more your lifestyle column, your lifestyle column, all right? Because this is the column where, um, this is that column that keeps the program sustainable because this is where your energy carbs come in. This is where your fruit comes in. And see how we've got your one plus your two plus your three? Now that doesn't mean you eat one of these, two of these, and three of these, okay? This is one for category one, two for category two, three for category three, and then it's got LP for lean protein, FC for fibrous carb, and EC for energy carb. So this, you're gonna wanna screenshot this, or you're gonna want to um, uh, print this out, three hole punch it, put it in a binder, have it in your kitchen, okay? So it's really important to do that. Now. I want you to look at this blowtorch column. The reason we call this blowtorch column is like if you live in this little column right here, you are going to be blowtorch and fat like you'd be blowtorch and butter. And the reason that you're going to do that is because you're not giving yourself any easily accessible energy right there. Your body is going to have to access stored energy, which is fat, and burn it, and you're going to see great results. You'll also see that the addition of MCT is on all of those. Okay, so that's, that helps you burn a few extra calories because it's thermogenic. But like I said, don't just take MCT as a supplement, use it for the purpose of cooking. When you see this right here, the HHF, that stands for hemp products, hemp hearts and hemp flakes. All right, so you hemp heart flakes, HHF is hemp heart flakes. Then look right here at the bottom of this yellow column. Do you see right there where it says MR? MR stand, stands for meal replacements. Do you see this negative two and this negative three? What this is saying is that negative two and negative three meal replacements are excellent for weight loss. They actually are so good for weight loss that it really should be right here in this blowtorch column. But Travis wants everybody to understand how to eat whole foods and how whole foods really are best for your body that he doesn't put it over there in the blowtorch column, okay? He just puts it right there. Um, and then see this one right here, this PP. PP stands for perfect pairing. A perfect pairing is something that does not meet the rules. It doesn't meet these combinations that you're seeing right here. It doesn't meet all of those. But Travis and the team have determined that it would still work for weight loss. But if you'll notice, it's not gonna be your fastest. That's why it's in the blue column, which is like your lifestyle column. And 
Another way to equate this is being in the blue column is like take, taking the scenic route to your destination. You want to stop and you want to smell the roses a little bit more. So you want to eat your sweet potato with your chicken and your broccoli. You want to have your uh, orange with your um, your toast and your egg whites. You know, you want to do those things because, and you know you're going to get where you're going eventually taking the scenic route, but that's what you're doing over here. You're going to get there. It'll just be a little bit slower. But if you want to get on the interstate and get to your destination quickly, yellow and red, but mainly red would get you there the fastest, but yellow and red will get you there much, much faster. And then if you'll notice right down here at the bottom, here you go. Here's a little legend. Category one, lean protein. Category two, fibrous carb, and so forth. Um, and then, just I want to point out the plus signs. Plus signs don't mean we're doing any addition. We're not doing any addition. It just means that we're putting these things on the same plate with, with each other, with each other. And I hope that makes sense. And I, and I say those things, you may not have even been thinking that, but I say that because it's questions that I've heard. And so I just like to go ahead and take care of those right up front. Um, y'all, do y'all have any questions? Because if not, if not, we're going to hop off of here, but I want you to watch these videos that are right here. I want you to um, go ahead and sign up for your mentor appointment, but sign up for that next week. And please focus in on the new member fast track group this week so that you can learn how to do this program I hope y'all enjoyed tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit and that can help you accomplish your goals. Thank you, Amy. I mean, not Amy. Why do I keep calling you Amy? Rebecca, I'm sorry.